In today's video, we'll showcase a New York premiere of the movie Ordinary Angels. Make sure to watch this video to the end as we bring you Beyond the Velvet Ropes and bring you exclusive interviews with the cast and crew of the film at the premiere. excited for people to see it. I love this movie. I'm so honored and I'm so humbled to be a part of it and I feel like um, it's just nice to see it all come together and to be here with everyone celebrating it and um, to meet Sharon. I haven't met her yet. Well just kind of what you said, it is an inspiring story. This is a film that reminds us of the good in life um, which I think we need to see a lot more of right now. Um, it reminds us that we can make a difference in someone's life. Um, with even just a small act of kindness. It doesn't have to be as something as big as what Sharon did. Um, and that we can also find a fuller, like our fullest purpose by serving others. Larger than life. She's just like this force of nature. She is someone who doesn't take no for an answer. She um, is just a, a, a big reminder of the beauty of life. And, um, just a blessing, really. Well, you know, there there are some projects that you're a part of, and um, they're, you know, they have a, a weight and importance on their own. And this story is one of those. It's it's a really inspiring film, and um, to know that people are going to get to enjoy that and and feel moved by what this film is saying, um, it's exciting. And I've been waiting a long time for it, so I'm looking forward to this week. So this script found me after Reacher season one had aired. Uh, the the weekend after it aired, I you know I had a stack of. Uh, films to look at and this was one of them and I just I was so moved 
uh, I begged to be a part of it. I, I, I actually begged. <laughs> and uh, John, John Gunn, the, the writer director who did such a beautiful job, um, told me to my face I was definitely not the, the right guy for this. Um, you know, it, it, this was uh, the real Ed Schmidt is, is, is uh, you know, a, a little more gaunt and frail, and uh, you know, he's um, looks like he eats a few a few less cheeseburgers than I eat. So uh, you know, I I've got kids, and I I know the distance that I would go to to save them and keep them from you know uh, suffering the way that his kids did. You know, so um, that's what I felt like I could offer, and um, luckily he he you know he let me on the project. But um, uh, yeah, this is. This was this was a hard fought battle to, 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 to get in this one. Films like this too, you know, with um, you know with a couple young daughters, you know, co you know, Ed had two two young girls, and uh, having young child actors could really make or break a film. And uh, Emily and Skywalker, the girls that played my daughters in the film, were um, stellar. I mean, just like stellar. I, I can't wait for people to see what they did, but um, they really elevated this film. Um, Nancy Travis plays my mom. It's just beautiful work. Uh, you know. Drew Powell, the past, everybody was just phenomenal. I mean, across the board, of course, Hilary Swank, um, you know, does it again. So um, it's, uh, it's just, it's great to be a part of this cast. We live in a very divisive time. Everything's, here's the thing. We get messaging from a lot of different sources that, that, that tell us to pick a monster and, and, and to, to gang up and fight that monster, you know, and we're very tribal in that way. And, um, this film tells us, it sends a completely different message, you know, that not only are the broken toys the ones that can really rescue us, but, um, uh, but they're the ones um, who are most in need of, of saving. And um, it's just regular, everyday people like you and I that can, uh, you know, just through a little bit of love and effort can really help um, change people's lives. You know, we need that. Um, we need to be reminded of that. I'm incredibly excited. I think it's a very life affirming, human being affirming, just uh, let's all be, stop fighting with each other and help each other and, uh, and be, you know, live our best lives. I think it's a great message and it's a great story and, uh, and it's, it's moving and I think certainly as, a, as an actress and somebody in the entertainment business, that's my job is to, to connect with people and hopefully move them. So I play, he's coming down the, the pike here, uh, I play Alan Richardson's mom and uh, the grandma to this little, pretty little girl, Emily Mitchell. And uh, I am, I'm just the person who's watched my family struggle with something very difficult and have tried to be the best support that I can be and, uh, and, some, and, and recognize that we need help. Well, it's always gratifying when you are telling a real, true story and uh, you can draw on the people that were the actual people to inform your character. But, but basically, I mean, what's true about this story is, is not the specific of the family necessarily, but just what it's true about all of us as human beings. And to be able to connect to that and be able to, to reflect that was, was really the, the gift. Everybody was in this, you're all in. And uh, we all just had a great time and we, we felt like we were telling a story that wasn't just, you know, bombs and flashes. It was, it was really a, a heart, heart-rending story. I think it's always important to tell this kind of story. And I think in a time when we're, we're, we're sort of caught up in the, the well, the, certainly the trauma and drama of the world, uh, it's nice to reaffirm our relationships with each other as human beings and, and that there's, there's a lot of good out there amongst each other. I'm super excited. I feel like this movie is right on time and something we all need to see. Rose is a no-nonsense but warm, non-judgmental, very good friend. Um, she loves Sharon and she will go to the ends of the earth for Sharon. What she will not do is sail down a river of chaos for Sharon. And I love that about her. I love that she's a real friend that will say, hey, I don't like what you're doing to yourself. Let's try to fix this. You know, love that about Rose. I really hope that they will take away that if you have strong faith, anything is possible. If you depend on your community, if you say, hey, I need help, 
as a community, we can move mountains. Anything is possible. And that we are the miracle makers. We are the ordinary angels. So I hope that they want to go out and do maybe some acts of random kindness and become an ordinary angel themselves. I am so excited. You know, movies take a long time to get made. It's been two years since I shot this film and we got delayed. Uh, our original release was going to be in October and then Taylor Swift came in with her concert tour and moved our date. <laughs> and I'm really grateful that she did because now we get to have the whole cast here together. And I'm so excited to share this movie with the world. Honestly, it's been a labor of love for three years of my life. So tonight's the night when we get to really put it out there. Lionsgate is our studio and they actually brought this project to me and said, we love this story. And uh, I get someone loving me right now. They said, I love this story and would you be interested in telling it? So I read the script, it was incredible. The story was hard to believe that it could be true. So inspiring, so heartwarming, but also like a story of real struggle and about people helping other people and people healing through helping other people. So I just felt like what a beautiful message to share with the world. I was thrilled to get to tell it. And then when we got a cast like this, Hilary Swank and Alan Richson and Nancy Travis and all these wonderful actors, Tamala Jones, like I was just like beyond, honestly, so honored to be the one to get to share the story with the world. I think it's a great reminder. We live in a very divided world right now, and this is a film that reminds us to that communities who take care of each other is really what, the, what our country and what our world is about. And so I think it's a great reminder that we actually do love each other, right? And we actually can help each other. And we will heal ourselves by helping each other. And I think that's a great reminder in today's world. We know a good amount uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because John Gunn is a friend and also helped on a film that Mariah co-produced that I directed called Unsung Hero. Uh, our editor, Parker Adams, also directed this film. And Kingdom Story Company and Lionsgate, a partner, was with us uh, on Unsung Hero as well. So we know a lot from that angle. We also know the church from Louisville, Kentucky, Southeast Christian, that uh, is a key sort of pillar in the Ordinary Angels story. So, man, there is... The, in the, the multiverse is strong when it comes to what we know about this film. We had an opportunity to watch it in Nashville, back at home, but we, we asked if we could hold off for this night. We wanted to see it at the proper premiere yeah. in New York so we could feel the energy, be with all of the crew and the studio that helped create it. So we're honored to be here. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.